Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mrs. Mitch. Uh, now, t today we are going to have a look at where I work. Hooray! Yes. Everybody can discover it. what are you doing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is kind of the back way in to where I work. Mrs. Yes. Mitch and I have been uh, absent for a while from YouTube, from making yeah. videos anyway. Yes. But just to let you know, we're back. Yeah. And we never uh, disappeared. No. <laughs> so um, you know, keep tuning into the channel, please. Uh, we just needed a tiny little break, and uh, we have some interesting plans for the channel for the future. Yes. I want to show you where we're, we're here after hours actually filming this introduction. Yes. And you'll see later on, you'll, we'll meet uh, my team at work. Yeah. And uh, we're going to show you a little bit around the building. First of all, we're going to show you my office and then we'll show you uh, uh, some of the features of the building um, with a couple of other of my colleagues. Please enjoy, uh, enjoy the video and uh, Mrs. Mitch we'll um we'll keep making videos uh as much as we poss possibly can of course for the future of course yes okay because we love our subscribers and everybody who watching our channel okay so come with us now so that's the building where uh, i work mm -hmm. that was made 40 years ago 41 years ago actually in the soviet union that would be one of the last uh big high rises they made basically the building has been unmain well not unmaintained but never been renovated since then so this is what happened at the collapse of the Soviet Union because um, there was no money and when we go into the building you, it's not air-conditioned uh, there was kind of central heating there once before that was all dismantled after the collapse so there's four of these buildings along here. There's one here. One there. Two more down there. This is the entrance. The stonework would have been once very beautiful here, by the way. This is the first level. In some countries it's referred to as the ground floor, but this is the first floor in Armenia. This is the business uh, registration uh, place. It's not part of our organization, it's separate, but this is where people come to get their business licenses from. AM Business, this is part of uh, our center. I will take you upstairs. Now on the second floor, this is where, uh, this is where I work with my colleagues. It's not all of our team who works here. Our director works uh, in the office. Once you go through here, the reception area, uh, he's, uh, his office is to the right. Uh, this is my office set up here. And uh, my heater consists of uh, this down here. You can see if we can show you. By that's my heater there. It's something from uh, the 20th century, early 20th century, I think. But it heats underneath the table and I'm not complaining. I just thank God for the opportunity to work for uh, the betterment of Armenia. By promoting Armenia and uh, trying to, um, to attract our diasporan Armenians back and also people from overseas who would like to help another country. We were trying to attract good people. As my husband showed you where he's working, and um, you already have seen his office, where is no conditioner, but uh, people working because they want to help country, and they want truly to see the um, best future of Armenia. And this is his office, and on a distance you can see him, Hello, Mr. Mitch. Hello, everyone. And how are you? I'm very Actually, well. nice and warm in your office. It's not too bad, actually. Yes. Yeah. So, little uh, office, but uh, very welcoming. And all people who are working with him 
uh, very, very nice people. I met all of them. And sometimes we're catching up for coffee, uh, just for sometimes chat. Sometimes pizza. Yeah, sometimes pizza. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. well, anyway. We have as, a great team. As the, yeah, great team. And uh, sometimes when I'm coming to visit them, I feel like all of them one family. Because yeah. of uh, they have amazing respect to each other, love to each other, uh, wanting together, uh, happiness together, mm. and everything together. Yeah. So God yeah. bless all of you, all your team, and uh, all people who truly and uh, deeply want to help Armenia. Yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, something here. We, as we don't, as this has not been renovated, uh, this is a plastic sheeting over a single pane of glass where there's no double pane window here. So the maintenance uh, people uh, do the best they can to try to keep, keep the cold out. Uh, as you can tell, uh, we don't have a budget to renovate. Um, but we'll we, get there. But this is not the important thing. The important thing is working uh, for our country, uh, to help our country into the future. So everyone, uh, Mrs. Mitch is going to uh, not feature in the rest of the video. No. Uh, I'm going to show you our team. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of a look around a uh, couple of interesting rooms in this building. I think you're going to love that. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned. Keep subscribing. Please uh, like and share our videos if you can. We don't. Uh, we, we're not in this for the money. We're here to promote Armenia, yes. uh, especially from uh, maybe a Westerners' perspective, which is a little bit unique. Yeah. So, Mrs. Mitch, uh, you can say goodbye. Goodbye, we wish you all the best, yeah. happy new year, and uh, I can say blessed one. Mm -hmm. So to all people around the world. And I'll see you in just a minute. Yeah. Okay. Bye. We're just about to enter into uh, our director's office where our team is assembled, and we'll introduce you to them now. <laughs> and uh, here is our team. Hey. Hello world. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce our, our team now and uh, the first and most important member of our team is our beloved director, Hi. Hayek Margarian. Nice to meet you. Uh, Hi, maybe can you just tell us a little bit about the centre just briefly? This is the National Centre for Innovation and Entrepreneurship where great people like our team are gathering and like our beloved uh, Peter Mitchell uh, and we invite everyone to visit us to see what we are doing here just few directions uh, connected with innovations and entrepreneurship and global directions for Armenia and we are really uh, up to involving many people from outside of Armenia. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Hayek, how long have you been uh, in the role as uh, director of the National Centre? Approximately eight months. Mm -hmm but we have great plans to yep. implement together. Great plans and we've got a great, we've got a great young team here uh, and I might just ask them to tell me their names and where they're from and if they like they can say why they're, <laughs> why they're here. So we'll start with our newest member and... Uh, my name is Gagik, I'm from Russia and I'm here to help the team. It's my first day in the, in the center. So yeah, looking forward to the new achievements which we are going to accomplish. Uh, Excellent, and welcome to, <laughs> welcome to our team, by the way. Thank you for the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> and Garcia. Hi everyone, I'm Garcia from Lebanon. I came here one year ago. I am studying my master's at AUA, and I'm here with the eCourts program, uh, which is organized by the High Commission of Diaspora Affairs. Excellent. Hi, I'm Rosanna from Russia, Moscow. Um, I'm here with Igor's program as well. I'm here to share my experience and my knowledge and try to help Armenian. Excellent. Maybe Garcia, can you just explain very briefly about the IGORTS program? Yes, the IGORTS program is a newly launched program by the High Commission Office of the Diaspora Affairs that brings a yearly a limited amount of Armenian from the diaspora to come and work in the governmental institutions of Armenia and to make a contribution to the development of Armenia. 
Excellent. This well is the second said. Piece. And brilliant English. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and now to Angela. Hi there. I'm Angela. I'm from Armenia, from Yerevan. So I work here from September, and uh, also I try to uh, give something this uh, center. Excellent. Thanks, Thank you. Angie. And Anna. Hi world, I'm Anna, I'm a local, I'm from Armenia and I'm a member of this uh, multicultural team who came from different parts of the world so it's amazing to share experience and have great moments together. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks Anna Jan. Yeah. Okay David, mm -hmm. tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do here. Okay. You can say in Russian if you like. В первую очередь каждый из нас пришел сюда, чтобы помочь своей родине, чтобы вложить максимум энергии и сил и все вместе достигнуть максимальных результатов, локально работая здесь и давая уже глобальное значение для нашей страны. Счастливого Калатин. Спасибо большое. Mr. Director, can you give us a quick <laughs> translation? <laughs> Just very quick, and uh, I will translate because I respect okay. everyone. Okay. Most of the part, David is saying that he is really happy that he is here. Mm -hmm. uh, he moved with the family, with his family, and he loves to be here in NCIE, mm -hmm. which uh, is concentrated on implementing projects related to innovations and entrepreneurships, mm -hmm. technology transfer. And he, at the end, he was saying that he is thankful to uh, to me, the director, that I kind of started this and I invited him as well. But plus, just as a small example, he was saying that honestly, I'm not that beloved. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's very all humble. in all, he's very happy. Very good. Actually, and to tell you the honest, uh, honestly, uh, this seat is for Godfathers. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we sit here or there or at beloved oh, yeah. Tetra's room. And so this is our this is our beloved team, a very uh, young and handsome and beautiful and uh, talented young team that we have. Part of our team. It's not all of our team. We. Uh, very, very happy to be working together and to be doing what we can for the future development of Armenia. Usually once a week we have kind of like a pizza party, isn't that right girls? Yeah. Pizza party. <laughs> you can see the, the um, corridors are extremely wide. Exactly why, I have no idea, but it's big and bold and that was the Soviet style. This room we're going into now was an old Soviet co-working station. And this has actually uh, come into fashion again now. This is unrenovated and hasn't been used for a long, long time. Down the back here we've got uh, a Soviet mural, which is interesting, a mosaic. I'm not sure what this represents, but... Quite interesting. Actually, this is the eagle. Those are the mountains. Ah. Uh, as I suppose the sky. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I think this e this is like the um, the stones which uh -huh. are made to uh, maybe. show like the road or something. Yeah. This is what we call our piece de resistance. <laughs> It's an old Soviet auditorium. Really great building. And we hope uh, in the future that we will hold uh, many seminars here and interesting talks, invite lots of people, guest speakers. One thing we do need is uh, heating, which is completely no heating at all. So what have we got here? 
the, the volume control, mm -hmm. I suppose. Uh, and which the, the very interesting thing is that mm -hmm. in 1980 mm -hmm. we had aux cable, <laughs> wow. an aux uh, 3.5 millimeter um, auxiliary cable. Yeah, uh, and and that wasn't a standard back then, and, and ah. it used to work. This was made in Latvia, I think, uh, in Soviet part oh. uh, of Latvia, and then yes. imported here. Hmm. Excellent. So, because this was an innovation center, everything was here kind yeah. of innovative and yeah. new. And we got speakers. Yeah, I guess speakers, speakers here. here. Uh, laptops weren't a thing back then, but <laughs> we still yeah. had something <laughs> made for the laptops. And uh, there was a there was a big po a big podium just here, a huge podium, way too big for uh, the speaker, but that was the Soviet style. And uh, yeah, we've got a projector room up upstairs. It's a, it's amazing uh, it's amazing auditorium and hopefully we're going to put it to good use in the future. So on the first floor uh, there's a um, governmental governmental organization which mm -hmm. um, issues the right to be a to, to create a business and mm -hmm. they give the certificates they open yeah. businesses and so on. Where you get your where you get your licenses from? Yeah. Yep. management so the main uh, management teams and our teams which are working together um, uh, it's on the second floor so this is our balcony it's gigantic <laughs> and we have we have some plans for this in the future um, hopefully when we uh, get our budget together then um, we'll develop this we'll have an outside sitting area it's impossible to open impossible to Very open safe. yeah 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 <laughs> All the more intrigue. <laughs> we might use our legs soon <laughs> to get into. Snuggy. That's just. Uh huh. Okay. It may be a little bit dark in some parts. There's not everything's got lights here, but we'll see. So we've got this uh, old telephone here. Some of you will remember what they are. I even remember telephones uh, on the wall where we used to uh, uh, like wind the phone up um, but anyway these are these are not that old yeah this is for lifting books up maybe to the next level or dead, think, yeah, maybe yeah. dead maybe dead bodies <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> all right let's go through here as you can see it's completely unrenovated and one day we hope we can do something with this with this building. This is the overpass. We've got other buildings here. You can see the other three buildings there. So far no one's ever fallen through the bottom to our knowledge. Okay, Dave's trying another door here. Ah, we got it. Bravo. And here we are. This is our library. This is a, I believe, a science. You'll be able to say scientific and technical library, David. It's a science bibliotheca, or science library. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, 22 million patent of patents and uh, books. Oh. So there are 22 million patents and books. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot. Uh huh. And it's on three levels, David. Yes? Three levels. Three levels. Yes. So this is the third level? The third level. This, is so the, this is the second level. This is the middle level. Okay. Uh, there we are. It's quite amazing. You should be able to see through here fairly well. And all scientific technical volumes. Down here, um, I don't know, it just for some reason or other, it's quite obvious probably to you. It look, reminds me of a prison cell. Help! I see him let, me, uh, let, let me out! Let me out. <laughs> this is the room for uh, library administration. Ah, librarians, very good. Okay. Library admin, good English. Very good, <laughs> bravo. And I guess we've got a whole. All the catalog, all the catalog system would be here, and it's all done by hand with on cards this is just some of it by the way
Yeah, so, uh, David Jan, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what we have planned for the future for the library here. Okay, uh, we have planned future. Uh -huh. uh, first, uh, uh, we want to uh, create um, business support center uh, and business support uh, a social uh, coordinate uh -huh. space. Uh -huh. Social co-working space. И также это первые две задачи основные, то есть поддержка и коворкинг. So those are the two uh, main um, uh, strategy, strategic, strategic, decisions which we made to actually um, make this place more lively. So it's to support businesses yeah. and to let them work and interact with each other in here. Дать новую жизнь тому, что мы видим. So yeah, and also we would like to modernize the system which the library works in to make it faster, more efficient, mm -hmm. and to let uh, more people to access these uh, knowledge mm -hmm. books and stuff. So mm -hmm. there are 50 people working for the library. To How many? 50. 50? 50 people, yeah. Uh, to maintain. I never knew that. <laughs> so yeah, to maintain the li library. So most of the people in the building are working for the library. My kid but bomb. It, we feel that it's the time, it's the right time yeah. to modernize it, to, to make the library to actually be a modern library. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Because there's no technology involved at this point, yeah. which is uh, weird, not even digitalized. Yeah. So we need to digitalize <laughs> the books, we need to modernize the system yeah. to make it uh, very good. Как это ни странно не звучит для наших помещений, но мы все сделаем, чтобы максимально быстро запустить данный проект. So, and one of the main focuses at, at the moment which we are interested in is to create a transfer technology uh, mm. program uh, which lets uh, technologies from other countries to, mm -hmm. to come to Armenia mm -hmm. and we want to make it in here on base of this building mm -hmm. and we already have a library, mm. uh, we have uh, staff working for it and we wanted to transfer the technology to kind of connect all the knowledge which is possible, which resources we possess, yeah. to make it happen, to make it more efficient, to make uh, knowledge to be available for the people. So, mm -hmm. so those are the projects on the surface, yeah. and there are actually more and more uh, projects on the way, yeah. uh, mo around uh, more than 10 uh, mm -hmm. at least. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to use all our resources to make it happen, yeah. and to Fantastic. modernize everything, and uh, make, it, make so. it useful for yeah. people. Very good, спасибо большое. Let's just pull one book out at random. And as you can see, they're all technical volumes. I hope we're not giving away any um, Soviet secrets here. Yeah, but it's full of history and we want to, as the boys said, we want to modernize this, bring it all up to date and make it relevant for the age that we live in now. The data for the, the, the database for all books is uh, located on the uh, fourth. Ah, uh, four okay. And, uh, so so right. on the fourth yeah. to uh -huh. sixth floor. Okay. So the database is there. So if, if someone wants to get a book, he goes to the fourth or fifth floor. Uh, he uh, requests the book they want okay. or then the the knowledge what they are seeking right. for and mm -hmm. people up there they have a database they uh -huh. help to find whatever they want okay maybe not the exact book but they find yeah. something on the topic which they so, uh, request so and, the oh very good yeah, so and the, then they come here the 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 librarians come here and get yeah. the book so uh, it's not the 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 library is not really open to the public at the moment so Public is not allowed in here, yeah. only the management can go uh -huh. in. And this is an occasion, because even we are not allowed actually. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a unique occasion that we're in okay. here. Oh, there you are. So folks, you've come to a very, very uh, unique place in Armenia, a place where not too many people come at all. And uh, yeah, you can see what life was like uh, many, 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 many years ago in the Soviet Union, and we hope to modernize this and really use it to uh, advance Armenia for, for the better in and the future. And add more books, I suppose. Add more books, yeah. We want to keep up to date. This is, a, by the way, a, a book uh, lift to oh. go from the uh, floor below and the floor above. So this is just an old uh, light switch panel here. 
we just show you some uh, old Soviet technology here. <laughs> these haven't been these haven't been renovated either. These are just this is very old. Let's see if we can call one down and just have a look inside the lift. A lot of old-fashioned houses in Armenia and around the ah Soviet yes, countries. Ap apartment they buildings. Have the they have the same. They have the same. Which yeah. are very noisy and looks. They look dangerous. They actually look dangerous. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, we can see that this is supposed to carry only three people. Okay, so there we are. Very dark. Very dark and very old. Point. I'm going to kill. Don't have <laughs> <laughs> okay, fire hydrant here and a very old fire hose. I don't know, whether, can we see inside there? No. There's a very ancient fire hydrant, that one there inside here. Wow. I wonder whether this is even functional anymore. And who, I guess you. Yeah, well, you would plug the fire hose into that, <laughs> and hopefully it works. But I think, I think this is going to work much better. <laughs> so everyone, uh, I hope you really enjoyed uh, this introduction to our team at uh, NCIE, where I work. And uh, just to tell you that I am really privileged and honoured to have been offered a job here at uh, the centre and uh, I'm just so happy to be surrounded by so many enthusiastic young Armenians. Uh, I'm the oldest one here, they call me uh, Godfather <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for various reasons and also just recently Santa Claus because of my beard. Um, so anyway uh, folks uh, I'd like to sign off now so it's bye from Mitch and bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, from, the bye from the team. Okay. Bye, everyone.